Today's workout is all about lifting, shaping and sculpting that booty and we have to work the three muscles which is your gluteus maximus, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus and also it's really important we work lots of different angles. We're going to look at doing some twists, some extensions as well as some rotations. So in other words, if we target all those areas, the result of that is this eight minute workout is simply going to help get you that perfect peach. What is important, do make sure you spent about a minute, just march on the spot, just warming up, and then what I need you to do is then press start, and we're gonna come down into this position for your first exercise. So we're gonna be on all fours, and for the first move, all I want you to do simply is we're gonna come up onto the toes, and we're just gonna draw the knees in, alternating, we're just doing 10 reps, so your arms are fully extended, tummy is tight, draw that knee in towards the chest, and just extend back. So this also is actually going to be great for your abs and your arms. Now come onto your knees, extend one leg back, keep that foot flexed, you're just doing 10 reps. Imagine you're pushing something really heavy away from you by using your leg, but you're powering that all through that glute muscle. That's good. Squeeze that back. That's it. And again, it's important, toes stay down. Let's now take that straight to the opposite leg. Just push that back and draw that in. And again, keep the tummy tight. Think about where you're working. That's it. Squeeze that back. So I really imagine it's something really heavy. So you're putting so much effort through that leg as you take it back. So now you're going to draw your knee over towards the opposite hip. We're just doing 10 repetitions. This one also here, you're working slightly into the waist as well as working a bit more through the outside of the bottom. Just draw that across and now come back down onto your hands and knees. Also lower down onto your forearms. Extend one leg out straight and we're just going to lift up and then lower. We're just doing 10 reps. So this time now we're working with a longer lever, just lifting that leg up and down. And make sure you're lifting it up high enough each time that you can really feel that through the bottom. Let's now change legs, extend, lift it up, all the way up and down. Okay, that's good. So we reach up and lower. So we're just keeping the toes pointed for this particular exercise, lifting that up and back down. Okay, so this time, as if your leg's in a bent position, we're just doing 10 reps, keeping that foot flexed, that's it, squeeze that tight, you'll feel a little bit more also into your hamstring because we've got that leg bent. Let's take that now to the opposite side and squeeze that tight, doing really well. Okay, that's good. Squeeze tight, foot stays flexed, and feel that in the bottom. So for your next one, we're gonna come up into an extended plank position. This time, we're doing 20 reps. So what we're doing here now, really lift that nice and tight, so you really feel that through the bottom. If you find your upper body is getting tired, just press pause on the video, then just rest the arms for a little bit, because this is quite tough, but you know what? It just means that we're working lots more areas as well. So let's just keep that going, just keep that focus, because remember, when it's tough, that's when it's training us, it's challenging us, that's when we get results. Okay, so for the next exercise, we are going to just lift that leg out to the side, then squeeze behind up. Oh. And then we'll start again. Look at this little surprise visitor I got, that wet dog. It was so hilarious. Okay, anyway, let's go back to doing 20 of these. So we lift it behind, then you lift out to the side. Lift behind, then out to the side. 20 reps. He did actually get me really well, but he was such a cute little dog. Okay, so let's just lift out, out to the side, then behind. And we're keeping that foot flexed. That's good. And just really lift that out. And now let's take that to the opposite leg. So you bring it out to the side, then lift directly behind. Bring it out to the side, then behind. And again, it's important to keep that foot flex so we haven't got the toes pointed. Squeeze it up, keep the tummy muscles tight. That's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. Lift that up and then back. And squeeze it out, behind, to the side. And keeping that going. Okay, so for your next move, this time now, come up onto your toes. And we're just doing 20 reps here. So all you're doing is you're taking that foot over the opposite foot. So you're crossing it over. So again, you can see here, we're doing a little bit of a rotation. We're doing a little bit of a lateral move. We're not just moving upwards and backwards. It's really important to add these little angles in. That's how you really get those results. So we're just doing 20 reps. 
Okay, and just keep thinking of all those benefits you're gonna get from today's training. And remember, the more toned your body is, and then the more calories you burn. Okay, so we're gonna go for a 10 second rest. If you need longer, just press pause. And then we're gonna do that whole routine again. So your position I need you to slowly come up onto is your hands and knees, and then push up from that onto your toes. Now let's draw the knee in. So we're doing 10 reps, so the knee comes in towards the chest, Draw it in and push up back, that's good. It's just keeping that going. So we're just literally doing a knee crunch, aiming to get that knee as far in. Now come down onto the um, knees and just extend one leg, push it back out. So just imagine you're just doing 10 reps, that you're pushing something away from you. You keep your foot flex, keep those tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. That's good, keeping that going, well done. Keep thinking about where you're working and let's now do that on the opposite leg. So the foot stays flexed, push it back. So you're working two joints here, working through the hip joint and through the knee joint. That's it, pushing that away and then back, okay. So your next move, we're gonna come up. This time we're doing a little bit of a twist with that rotation, that knee comes over. Try and get it as far over but onto the opposite hip, that's good. And if you think about it, think about each move, how we're creating these different angles. So important with exercise, so many people don't, and that's how we can really now get an amazing shape. So this time, we're going straight to that leg lift for 10. So toes are pointing up, that's it. And just lift, feeling that through the glutes. So this one here, think about this angle. This is very much just up and down. So then the next one, we're lifting that up and down it and think of the position of the leg. I think it's really good. The more you understand how your body works and the more motivating it is to actually train when you understand what you're doing. So this time we've got the foot um, foot flex, leg is bent. So you'll feel this one a little bit more through the hamstring as well as through the bottom. Just go for 10 reps. Sit, squeeze that tight, push it up. Let's now take that straight to the opposite leg. And just imagine you're pushing something up above you. So you're using all that strength through your bottom and through the hamstring. Okay, so this time now we're going to come up and now we're going to take the leg straight up. So again, we're working just through the bottom. We're just lifting now, working one joint. We're just doing that hip joint, again, really tight. And we're now making it work a little bit harder because of the position that we've come up into this elevation. So let's just keep that going. You're doing 20 reps for me. Remember, if you feel tired in the arms, you can always just press pause, rest the arms. And with this one, if you want to, you can do it on your forearms as well. Or you could lean into a sofa if you find that easier, or chair. Okay, so let's now go for doing those 20 reps. So we take the leg out to the side, then lift behind. So you can see here, we're doing two different directions. That's good, so we lift it up and then out to the side, so we're just doing 20 reps. And again, whenever you're in this position, it's really easy just to kind of let the abs completely relax, but you know what, we might as well keep them pulled in tight, so it means we're working them at the same time. So we just lift that out. Right, let's now take that to the opposite leg. So you lift it out to the side, then lift up behind, just 20 reps. And remember, as I always say in all my videos, the more toned your body is, the more calories you burn, the more energy you have, you know, it's just about making it a habit. That's what's so important, you know, and then it becomes such a positive spiral because then you start to enjoy it, you have more energy, you feel great in your clothes, and you know, you just kind of keep going forwards with it. All right, so next one, let's come up onto those toes and let's go for 20 of those. So we just literally take that over, Step it over and then coming back. So last exercise today, let's just keep that going. Doing really well, it's great. And what I would say, if you like these workouts, because I want to try and still keep doing them, putting them up every day, then please help me spread the word and share these on Facebook. Would be amazing. That would, I, You'd get a big thank you from me for doing that. Okay, well done. That is today's workout done. So what is important, do some lower body stretches and then grab some water and then I will see you um, tomorrow for another workout and then why not hashtag Lucy's squad, hashtag Dan and hashtag the peach emoji as well.
And also now all my um, ebooks are available on my website. I've got how to get rid of a muffin top. There's also um, a book on how to fall in love with running and tone up all over. And then I've also got one which is all about how to tone your arms and lose arm fat in just three minutes. Then there's um, my book, which is really about how to be body confident, teaching you about nutrition and exercise. And then obviously my four minute workouts, which all these um, books have hyperlinks to my videos as well. These are all available on my website, lwrfitness.com.